all right guys what's going on this is Wes here all right so what is this video all right this video is step one step one for RPI FTS setup all right well what are we doing here in an Ubuntu machine well this is where we are going to flash our we're gonna flash our brand new SD card uh, we are this is my treat to you guys I am going to flash a brand new SD card and we are going to go through the whole process on this brand new SD card just to show you all the processes of everything that I am doing here okay uh, yeah I'm sacrificing one of my SD cards for uh, for YouTube so yay me alright so first thing is before I get too uh, sidetracked here alright so first thing is you need two things you need your your Raspberry Pi OS image and you need a way to flash that card now here I am using uh, Belena Etcher which is a pretty cool one now if you don't have Belena Etcher you can always get go to raspberrypi.org And then you come down here to Raspberry Pi downloads, right? You can use this nice little tool called Raspberry Pi Imager. It's actually pretty good. Um, actually, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and get this one. Oh, down here, just in case you're a command line kind of guy, just. Go ahead and download it down there. But if you're pro if you're following this, you're probably not too much of a uh, command terminal kind of guy. Uh, so we're just gonna go ahead and download it here. That is downloaded. So we're gonna go ahead and install that. Did that install? Let's see. That has not installed. So let's, let's just pop it open again. See where it went. Mm, where are my downloads? Oh, right. folder oh there it is okay so imager right here I'm gonna go back again and we're gonna install that that is installed all right so we'll close that we'll close this piece and I'm just gonna minimize that for now all right so come down here to your applications you're gonna get the Raspberry Pi imager all right we're gonna pop that little thing open choose your operating system in this case we're gonna run Raspberry Pi OS 32-bit all right, so we're going to select that. Choose your SD card. Oh, here it is. Generic storage device. Now we're just going to write it. Yep, I know. I'm about to lose my RetroPie card. That's super sad. It's all right. I got a backup for it. And you wait. Alright, so just to start 
you know, start talking about some stuff while we're here or waiting for this. Uh, sorry that I'm making you guys wait through this whole process here, but you know, I'm not the greatest YouTuber out there. I just record some stuff and uh, use the tools that I have on hand. I'm not a fancy YouTuber that has this whole studio just to edit videos and whatnot. All right, so this is what we got. This is what we're working with. All right, so some of the first things that you want to do as soon as you get uh, this SD card flashed with Raspberry Pi OS is as soon as you plug it in and you turn it on first thing you want to do is right off the bat while connected to a monitor get everything set up with starting with Wi-Fi connect to Wi-Fi that's the first one just connect to your Wi-Fi if you have it if not then move to step two step two is going to be to uh, set the set the resolution to a, a constant resolution in our case it's going to be uh, 1080p we're gonna we're gonna change the resolution to 1080p why is that because all right so with Raspberry Pi 4 I'm not sure really what the issue is between Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi OS um, with older versions you were able to connect to your VNC uh, while um, while not connected to a monitor that is not the case with uh, Raspberry Pi 4 for some reason there's a small quirk that just if it doesn't detect uh, an HDMI input uh, it's gonna it's gonna go all sorts of crazy and it won't let you open your VNC box so we're gonna go ahead and set a set a standard resolution so that no matter no matter what you do whether you connect to a monitor or whatever it is that you're doing uh, if you're doing it headless you'll be able to access your VNC no matter what um, this is almost done and one that once that's done we're gonna go ahead and uh, cut this video off and we will move to the next one alright that is done my friends so once that's done, your SD card has been written. Uh, that's it. This SD card is ready for you to pull out and plug it into your Raspberry Pi and go ahead and start configuring. Thanks.